Okay. Hello, Muhammad. Uh, this is a tall order you've got for me here, so let's see. Um, my review of Stoked. I think Stoked is one of the best cartoon shows ever made. Maybe I'm biased, but I think it's hilarious. My only note for it is that I wish it went longer. I don't think that two seasons was enough, and I would love to know more about Emma's journey and what happened to all those crazy, kooky kids at their resort. Uh, total drama. Uh, I love total drama. Um, the third season's probably my favorite because uh, I got to sing and I loved every song that I sang on Total Drama World Tour. Um, I didn't watch any of the other seasons because I wasn't on them. <laughs> so if I could make any change to those, I would say um, Bridget should have been in them. Hello. And I think she should have gotten a lot farther. Just saying, just putting that out there right now. Redonkulous Race, actually, originally, Carrie and Devin were um, written to win. We were supposed to be the winners of the season. Uh, and when we got to around the third or second last episode, um, the writers decided that um, our win should be that we realize that we love each other and um, you know end up being together and then that's what we win so uh, personally in my opinion I I think that's wonderful you know love you know love beats beats all so I think that was a great ending and uh, I loved Redonkulous Race um, I don't know anything really about uh, Emma's past, um, but in her future, I like to imagine that she worked at the resort for many more years, um, you know, uh, surfing and just having an amazing time with her friends and maybe having a little something special with Ty. Um, Bridget's past, we now know, is that she went to daycare with some of these kids that she obviously didn't remember once she was older in Total Drama Rama. So, uh, and Bridget, of course, has now gone on to star in Burning Bridget, so I guess that's something we never knew about her, that she was uh, a child star, um, which is uh, interesting because so was I. Um, the only mention of anybody's, uh, families, uh, I think is Emma when she thanks her mom for letting her, uh, go to, to the resort, um, for the summer. And, uh, Bridget's past, uh, we, we, we don't really know what went on with her from daycare to Total Drama Island, but her future, I like to think that her and Jeff are still together, um, I don't know if they're married because Bridget's very progressive and I don't know if she believes in, uh, you know, traditional marriage uh, or children. I think that she runs an animal rescue uh, and her and Jeff run it together and I think they live a beautiful life together somewhere very warm. Um, my favorite voice role in my career, ooh, that's a tough one. I really love, I really love all of all of the voices I've ever had the chance to do. Um, but honestly, it might be Emma. Emma was so fun uh, and so happy and so um, emotional, like high emotions. I really loved the episode um, where she gets trapped in the elevator with Ty for a second and she's having all those thoughts in her mind about like how she should be cool and talk to him and she ends up talking about like uh, marshmallows. Um, I also loved being uh, the voice of Little Bear because it's touched so many people. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, my hobbies and goals. Well, I love the movies. I love going to the movies. I love the movies. I am working on writing a movie. Uh, I'm actually taking Judd Apatow's masterclass in comedy writing right now. Uh, I love master class. I'm going to take all of the writers classes on there. So I really enjoy writing and I love singing and I love spending time with my dogs, Max and Gideon. And, uh, um, I love to dance, uh, you know, go dancing with my friends. Um, and, um, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. And so in closing, I will sing, I'm sorry 
So sorry, sorry like a flower after the first frost. And I'm sorry like a mitten that's been dropped and feels so lost. Thank you for your message.